Well, the Visumax uh, was conceived as a femtosecond laser that would be accurate enough to be able to produce incisions within the stromal component of the cornea uh, and stand alone as a uh, individual fully contained refractive surgical tool. Um, the folks at Carl Zeiss Meditech, uh, they recruited some of their top optical scientists uh, in order to design the optics of this laser, not only so that the beam could be extremely tightly focused, meaning that the drop-off in energy from the interface impact point, the drop-off is very, very steep, uh, meaning that there's very little irradiation of the surrounding tissue um, uh, that would produce heat. But also, they designed a beam path, which means that the energy transfer from the head of the laser all the way to the cornea of the patient is very efficient. And the way they designed this was, is very impressive. Uh, the machine was um, dropped into my clinic by crane, and uh, within an hour of wheeling, wheeling it into the operating room, uh, it, it was uh, ready to treat. The Visumax is, was designed uh, to do refractive surgery uh, by lenticular extraction from the cornea. Uh, so clearly, uh, it is able to create flaps with an extraordinary amount of accuracy. We um, performed a study uh, using very high frequency digital ultrasound, which has a one micron measurement precision uh, within the flap. And our, we, we uh, ran a series of eyes with an intended flap thickness of 110 microns. The flap thickness achieved had an average of 112 microns, and the standard deviation of this group of eyes was under 8 microns. Accurate flap making, if you like, is a side effect of building a machine that can do uh, refractive surgical cuts within the cornea. Instead of using planar applanation, it uses a curved contact glass. The advantages of doing that are that you can create flaps without really increasing the intraocular pressure very much. And this means that during the procedure, patients really do retain uh, vision throughout. Uh, because of the curved contact glass and because the patient is able to self-center their eye on the fixation target and because the contact lens and the fixation target are coaxial, this system, for all intents and purposes, auto-centrates itself. It auto-centrates the flap on the corneal vertex or visual axis. And that's exactly where you want it to be because, of course, ablations uh, should be centered on the visual axis. Come in here. That's great. Our patient is a 27-year-old musician with moderate to high myopia of minus 7.5, in whom a full ocular examination was normal and demonstrated him to be a very good candidate for LASIK. We obtain photopic and scotopic Waska high-resolution wavefront measurements together with the iris, limbus, and conjunctival vessel capture for oculine alignment of the ablation profile under the laser. Atlas topography is imported together with the wavefront data into the CRS master, which allows us to design the ablation profile appropriate for this patient. 